Alaskan adventure. Hey everyone! I've been getting lots of questions from my vlog viewers about all the cool animals that live in Alaska. So Nina and Mom are taking me to do some research. We'll take photos of the animals and make notes about what we see. Then add them all to my notebook. Afterwards, I'll answer viewers' animal questions in my vlog. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Sea otters on the rocky fjord. Let's photograph sea otters for our notebook. Molly, did you know that sea otters often float on their backs while holding food and tools on their chests? Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. A caption gives us information that tells about a picture. Sea otters eat while floating on their backs. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a sea otter. Feet. Tap its web feet to label them. Ears. Next, let's label the small ears. Tail. Let's label its furry tail. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. A cut a. All done. Wow! We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about sea otters in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about sea otters. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Forest. Red foxes in the forest. Let's photograph red foxes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby foxes are called pups or kits? We need a photo of a baby red fox. Nice photo. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos! Choose a photo to match this caption. Baby red foxes are called pups or kits. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a red fox. Ears. Tap its pointy ears to label them. Tail. Let's label its fluffy tail. Muzzle. Next, let's label the pointed muzzle. That's where its nose and eyes are. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy. Good! Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about red foxes in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about red foxes. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. River. Salmon at the river. Let's photograph salmon for our notebook. Molly, did you know that salmon swim upstream to lay their eggs? Sometimes when they swim, they jump out of the water. Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Salmon swim upstream and sometimes jump out of the water. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a salmon. Head. Tap its head to label it. Dorsal fin. Let's label its dorsal fin. A dorsal fin is the fin on the fish's back. Tail. Next, let's label the salmon's tail. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. A cut a. All done. Wow, we collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about salmon in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about salmon. 
Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Marsh. Cranes in the marsh. Let's photograph cranes for our notebook. Molly, did you know that baby cranes are called colts? They get their adult feathers when they are about two years old. Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Baby cranes are called colts. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a crane. Beak. Tap its beak to label it. Neck. Let's label its long neck. Wings. Next, let's label the wings. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy. Good! Wow! We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about cranes in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about cranes. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Fjord. Puffins on the rocky fjord. Let's photograph puffins for our notebook. Molly, did you know that puffins can fly? But they have webbed feet that help them swim too. Nice photo. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Puffins can dive up to 200 feet underwater. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a puffin. Beak. Tap its colorful beak to label it. Feet. Let's label its web feet. Wings. Next, let's label the wings. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. A cut a. All done. Wow! We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about puffins in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about puffins. Choose a place to go and an animal to find. Tap the arrows to see more places and animals. Forest. Flying squirrels in the forest. Let's photograph flying squirrels for our notebook. Molly, did you know that flying squirrels sometimes fly over a mile to find food at night? Nice photos. You can take more or tap the arrow to add a photo to the notebook. Great photos. Choose a photo to match this caption. Flying squirrels can fly over a mile for food. You picked a photo for the caption. Captions give information about their matching photos. If you're done, tap the check mark. Let's add labels that name the different parts of a flying squirrel. Eyes. Tap its big eyes to label them. Tail. Let's label its bushy tail. Claws. Next, let's label the claws. Great! Now you can drag your labels around if you want. Quincy! Good! Wow! We collected some really cool information. Now I can answer viewers' questions about flying squirrels in my vlog. Here's my notebook. Here's what we learned about flying squirrels.